from bald to bold, a hair system lifestyle. Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be looking at the daily life of a hair system wearer. We're going to be dispelling some myths and we're going to be showcasing how seamlessly a hair system can fit into your lifestyle. Now this video may be very useful for you if you have not started wearing a hair system but you're considering getting one or if you're fairly new on the journey. Also more experienced wearers might find it useful as well because we're going to be looking at sort of elements of personal care and improvements in self-confidence. So my name is Adam. I'm a hair system wearer and this is my hair system channel. First chunk of this video, I'm going to talk you through my daily routine. So first thing in the morning, I wake up, I wear a do-rag at night. I've also recently invested in what's called a bonnet. You might want to check that out on Amazon. It's really cool and it's actually easier to wear than a do-rag and it doesn't involve wrapping it up on your head at night time. First thing I do is I apply some leave-in conditioner and I use a paddle brush and I paddle brush through the hair just to make sure it's straight and there's no knots and that kind of thing it's a maximum of two to three minutes. Now you might want to add another one to two minutes to that if you put product in your hair, if you want your hair up at the front. It's seriously very similar to a guy with a full head of hair when he gets up. Most people get bed head first thing, so it's pretty normal and it doesn't take any extra time out of your day. Aside from that, I literally just go about my day as normal as usual. It doesn't take any more time out of my day to care for the hair system. When I go to bed at night, I literally apply some more leaving conditioner and I get the do-rag or the bonnet onto my head and I go to sleep. That's literally all I do on a day-to-day -day basis for my hair system. If you're going to shampoo it or conditioning it or both, and as I always say, do it maybe like once every two weeks, that might take an extra 10 minutes. You might want to dry your hair when you're at home. It can get a bit puffy, but it really is a very easy and convenient process. Now in this part of the video, we're going to address some common concerns and I'm going to dispel some myths. Two really important things to consider are comfort level and the security of the hair system. Now by security of the hair system, I just mean, you know, avoiding lifts and avoiding other people seeing lifts if you do have them. Now, hair systems don't fly off when you go to a fun fair and you go on a roller coaster. They don't come off if you're in the sea or, or if they're in a swimming pool. They're really, really well attached to your head. And the products that are basically created for hair systems, like glues and tapes, they're designed with all of these external factors in mind. They're designed with water in mind. They're designed with chlorine in mind. They're designed with sweating in mind. So it's really important to get over that fear because trust me, it doesn't happen. A lot of questions I do get are around the itch factor. Now, hair systems nowadays are actually really, really comfortable. And the thinner the base, the more comfortable it is. So if you struggle a bit with itching or you're worried because you've got sensitive skin, maybe go for a slightly thinner base. I remember the first three months of me wearing a system, it did itch a lot and it took my brain time to work out that what was on my head was effectively a part of me now. So I did itch quite a bit though, first three months I did try and take it off sometimes because it was itching like mad but once you get through that phase and your brain learns that what's on your head is safe and you don't need to itch it that's when it becomes so much easier and systems nowadays the bases are super super comfortable compared to what they were 20 years ago I have a sensitive scalp and I keep this thing on for two weeks at a time no problems. Do I itch? Yeah, I do every now and then, but I don't panic and try and take it off and then reattach it. It's pointless. It's a waste of time. Now, I'd also like to broaden the topic of hair system security to exercise. It's exactly the same as swimming. It's exactly the same as sleeping. It's exactly the same as sweating. You'll be fine wearing a hair system when you're exercising in the gym or anything like that. Personally, I don't exercise myself. I've got fibromyalgia, but I know a lot of guys who do personally, and they are fine. Remember, as I mentioned earlier, tapes and glues are designed with sweat in mind. That rhymes, and I really, really like it. I might use that in future. Now, there is a very legitimate concern about hair system styling, and I can understand why. There certainly are limitations around it. So you can't use a product that's going to be too harsh on the hair because it'll effectively just pull those hairs out. And remember, guys, hair system hair does not grow back. So if you're going to use product, you'll want to be using something softer and more gentle that will not pull the roots out of the hair. You'll also need to be mindful if you're doing a quiff that you don't pull up the 
base when you're using the product. Keep a really keen eye on that if you want to use product at the front. But using a gentle hair product, a gentle hair styling product is absolutely fine. I use them all the time. It's not a problem. And now we're coming to the end of this video. I'd really like to touch on confidence and self-esteem. A hair system is a really surefire way to immediately boost your confidence and immediately boost your self-esteem. But I really want to encourage you to watch out for one thing, and that's becoming obsessive about the hair system and falling into some old perfectionist patterns. I do it a lot. I'm a perfectionist and I'm working on that. But trying trying to move away from that and actually allow the system to bring out your confidence, to bring out your self-esteem. And you don't even have to worry about putting extra hours in to make sure that happens. It just comes when you've got a full head of hair. I mean, you know, a hair system can pretty much perfectly fit into your life. It will fit into your work life. It will fit into your relationships. It can fit into your sort of dating life you know, parties and that kind of thing. And if you sort of look at a longer term approach and you do a clean and rebond, maybe every 10 to 14 days, it really doesn't take that much time to do maintenance. You should be aiming for about two hours every 10 to 14 days. And I'm sure no matter how busy you are, I'm sure you can find time for that. And when you consider what's at stake and the upside of things, the boost in confidence, the boost in self-esteem, it really is a small price to pay. And you know what? Many people actually say getting a hair system was the best thing that they ever did. But I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. Are you waiting to get a hair system? Is it something that you're considering? Can you see the upside of it? Let me know in the comments box below. If you've got any more concerns about hair systems and how to wear them and potential pitfalls, you might want to check out this video popping up on the screen right now. Well, I go through a number of mistakes that I made in the early days and how to avoid them. If you're interested in getting your first hair system or your second or your 10th, don't forget you can get a 15% discount with LeVivid. The discount code is popping up on the screen as well right now. So you might want to check that out. Please do like and subscribe. Let's help this channel grow so I can make more content for you guys. Thanks for tuning in guys. I'll speak to you next time.